Hey everyone, Pat here, and in this video I got an exciting update inside of the Lead Engine platform. We just released a little mini product called Enrich Engine. It's an alternative to clay. It's much simpler and it's much easier to use. So if you are pulling lists online, scraping data, or using Apollo even, and you know, take an Apollo for instance, you're usually filtering for valid emails only because they don't have all the email addresses, and you're losing out a big percentage of your total addressable market we can help you find more emails within Enrich Engine. So here's like a little example. I'm just gonna give you a quick little demo of the system. So I actually have this job in process right now. So, so far we've processed 2,200 leads. We found um, 1,780 emails. We've validated a bunch of those. 900 and some are valid, 130 some are invalid. 631 are risky emails. We've cleaned a bunch of company names, cleaned a bunch of first and last names, and that's pretty much all I'm doing in this one. So let me just show you what I did here. So first of all, I started off just by just picking some list, lists that I wanted to enroll. And then I picked my enrichments. So on the left-hand side, basically we have a list of available enrichments for now. So we're ju we just launched this. So we've integrated with, we have our own email finder and own email validation that is actually free as part of the system. Then we integrated with Lead Magic, with Find Email, with Prospio, and then with zero bounce for email validation and catch-all scoring. And then Firecrawl, Lead Magic, and Prospio for some web scraping and LinkedIn profile scraping. And then OpenAI for uh, some of the AI type cleaners, first name, last name, company name, job title, splitting first names and last names. And we'll be coming out with some AI prompting and, and things like that. So basically you can manipulate and massage data any way you want. So basically what I did here is I, I just, I enrolled this list. I wanted to first clean up any first and last names that came through. So I'm, I'm getting data from Trigify. And if you know, there's things like emojis or weird names and stuff like that. We just want to, we want to clean that. So we're using AI to do it. It's doing a really good job doing the same thing with company name. Then we're running it through our own email finder. And if we don't find it, we'll only return valids. We don't have catch all email finding, but tools like lead magic, find email, Prospio, they all have catch all email finding. And then if, if that doesn't find the email address, we're using find email and lead magic to run their LinkedIn URLs to find their business emails. And then we're finishing it off with email validation and then secondary email validation. So this will actually waterfall the validation. So first we'll use our own free one and then any invalids that come through with this are, are gonna get revalidated basically. So this is gonna help mitigate like gray listing issues and things like that. And this is of course gonna give us the best chance to find as many email addresses as humanly possible. So it's a super simple system. Just if you wanna just kinda see how the, the process works from start to finish, let's say I grab this list, I grab some leads there, I grab some enrichments. So the first thing if I want to do, um, let's say I want to clean the list up first. We have some basic cleaners that are free and then we have AI cleaners. And let's say I want to clean up the first name and the company name and the job title. It's that simple. Let's say then I want to find an email address. So you can use our finder, lead magic finder, find email finder, Prospio email. We do have mobile finders in here. And then for the most part, we're using mostly email for ourselves. So then, you know, we're using lead magic for LinkedIn URLs to business emails. And so if it can't find the business emails using website syntax and, and stuff like that, then we can use the LinkedIn profiles. These ones cost a little bit extra, a little bit more money. You can see all the price points in here for all of the services. So basically you maintain a metered balance with us. We do, you can replace our API key with yours and you can pay cost to those providers if you have a subscription. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty much how simple the process is. If I want to finish it off with some, some validation and even catch all scoring in there, then I can do that. I hit save, I hit save here. I name it, just hit name there. And then I toggle this on and the system will start running. And you can, if you're not using any other parts of Lead Engine, you don't have to use our sequencer or anything like that. You can just come in, you can download the file here. So download the file, open it up, and you've got all the data. You can import it into whatever sequencer tool that you want. Or maybe you want to use us because, you know, it's, it's cheaper to get started with. And then maybe you want to take that data and put it into Clay for some additional enrichment that might, you know, cost a little bit more money than, than what our Enrich Engine is costing. So whether you put it in a sequencer or inside of, you know, Clay or some other enrichment tool, um, be a good process to get to get started. The pricing is super super affordable. So if you just go right to the website, we're we are doing a bonus promotion for just launching this. So we're doing 25% off on the annual plan, but you also get two times the leads, and you get all the lead credits 
in advance. So in this case, if I toggle over to monthly, you get on the $29 plan, you either get 5,000 leads per month, or if you do annual, which is about 260 bucks, you get 120,000 leads. So it's pretty affordable, very affordable. I mean, this for instance is like a month, less than a month of, of clay, for instance. So it's, it's super, super affordable, but you can always start in the monthly plans, work your way up if you wanna upgrade to the annual. Eventually, of course, we just launched it, so we'd love to get your feedback and love to have you try it out. So just one thing I'll, I'll mention here as I finish up the video. So the third-party data costs, as I mentioned, are passed back through a metered balance. And our enrichments are unlimited. So we aren't charging you for columns processed in one specific lead. Our lead credits are for the lead itself. So you could have as I showed you in this process. So let me pull up the enrichments. So I've got one, two, three, you know, I got several enrichments here on one lead that only consumes one lead credit for intents and purposes of, of the subscription here. There is of course the, the third party data cost, just like, you know, Clay or any other platform that's doing waterfall enrichment, you know, they're passing back the third party provider costs. But we do have the, the free email validation in our own email finder which will save you a bunch of money on email validation and a bunch of money on email finding as well. So we'd love for you to sign up for a trial, check it out, and let us know if you have any questions. And I hope this one was helpful, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.